Aging materials and costly upgrades make it difficult to get high-speed internet to small communities. But that's not stopping one Wabash Valley town. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryant tells us when residents in Flat Rock, Illinois can expect to go high speed. It's a peaceful fall day here in Flat Rock, Illinois. However, just a few miles away, the ground is shaky as crews install a new opportunity for this small town. In the last 20 years, not much has changed in the small town of Flat Rock, Illinois. That includes the city's phone service. But that's all about to change. We're burying fiber optics all the way from this office here to every house in our telephone exchange. About 500 locations. Fiber optics are replacing the community's aging copper lines. While 20 years apart, both projects are being funded the same way a federal loan. The only way that we could have afforded to do this, uh, to, come, to go out and borrow that money commercially, probably would have been prohibitive. The project will cost over $4 million, taking 20 years to pay back. Phone co-op superintendent Ron Maxwell says the project is important to keep this small community alive. People want internet. Maybe new houses might be built. If they're th considering where they're going to build that house, they might want to put it in our exchange instead of someplace else that they can't get a gig of internet. Fiber optics will provide up to one gig of internet to homes in the co-op. That's 85 square miles. Within that area lives K.E. Newell. He's lived in Flat Rock all of his life. He says the project is one he never expected to see. Not really. Uh, it's. Uh... I didn't even think anything like the internet would ever come along. <laughs> when we first started the internet, we all said it wouldn't work. <laughs> People are going to want more and more and faster internet, and so we feel that the only way to survive is to do this. The co-op hopes to have the project completed by the spring of 2020. In Flat Rock, Illinois, Gary Bryan, News 10.